So it's like three o'clock. We're just waiting to get picked up. We're going to Tenerife. I've literally got no makeup on because it's we had to get up at half past two, so I'm too tired. <laughs> and when I get there, I'll just get in the sun. So there's no point. So yeah. All exciting. We're gonna miss the dog. Days. Daisy. Oh, in here. What do you think Tam? Lovely, eh? Beautiful. <laughs> Got his and hers sink. Hola. <laughs> and then the kitchen. In the living room. And then the best bit. balcony <laughs> Put your new shoes on Look at them <laughs> flip flops <laughs> Got them from the airport day, yeah? Yeah, nice, are they? Posh Very posh Very posh so we're red hot, I'm going to get changed. By the way, I've invested in a tripod, which is this stick thing on the end of the camera, just so it's not as shaky when I'm videoing. One's really cash because we're just going to watch Liverpool play. So I'm a top new look jeans with a Primark. Yeah. Liverpool. Kiss it, Tom. Kiss it. Thank you, Sydney, because I sprayed too much after shave. So. <laughs> 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 Bye. Morning. It's day two, and I thought I'd just quickly um, talk about yesterday because I didn't really get a chance to vlog. Um, so it was our first day yesterday. 
So when we got here, we just unpacked and then we, what did we do? We went to, we sat on this little balcony here and just chilled our beans for about an hour and a half because we were so tired. Um, and so after that, we went down to the beach bar, which I think I've put a little clip of that in. And we just had a few cocktails and then the Liverpool game was on, so... The lads wanted to go have a drink, so about half six we went to um, a bar and we just watched the game, which they won. Ooh. Um, and then we literally was having a drink there, then we got a bit merry and we ended up in the Chinese um, and we was there for hours because they just keep piling food and food. Um, but it was really good, we was having a dance while we was eating, so yeah, that's what we did last night and then we just come home and chilled. So today we're just going to chill, I think, go for some breakfast. It is what I'm wearing. In my slippers. I forgot to mention, today in Spain is Christmas, so Feliz Navidad. How cool, I think that's why it's actually really quiet around the pool, because I did wonder where everyone was. But yeah, so I think it's going to be very quiet. And what you have for breakfast? For the mass breakfast, hopefully it's massive. Starling. <laughs> so we're on night two. I've got my tassel earrings in. This is my outfit, just really cash. Tops from Miss Path, just says bonjour. Even though we're in Spain, it should say, hola. Is that, yeah. Hola's hello, we did, not it? <laughs> yeah, earrings are Primark. Yeah, here's Tom. Looking like a rock star. Yeah. No, it's that, isn't it? <laughs> Beautiful. It's too big for me now. It ain't. It's large, so. Come in the pick. Skinny legs. <laughs> my camera fits in my bag today, so I can take it out on the night time. So I'll see you in a bit. Having an early night tonight. This is our pool at night. It's really cold today, though. It is red hot today. I think we're gonna go shopping. just pop shopping we literally went to two shops and these are the two shops <laughs> I can't believe it there's actually a Mac in Tenerife and it's really quite big so I got a few bits from there and I never really buy from Zara but I got like I spent like 65 pound in there and that's like rare for me um so I thought I'd do a little haul okay so the first thing I got from Mac was a mini Stro cream this was, I don't think it's any cheaper in Tenerife. Um, this was 16 50 which to be fair you can get in the airport for like 10, 10 pound. But yeah, I really needed one because the one I've got that I've bought I'm running out of. So then I picked up a MAC Fix Plus in the rose smell. I got a little set um, just before Christmas, uh, the three mini scented Fix Pluses and the rose one's my favourite so I thought I've got to get the big one and I think that was that was 18 50 so it's quite good to be fair 
Um, yeah, so I got those from Mac, and then from Zara. Like I said, I never ever buy from Zara, but for some reason, I must have been having a good day. <laughs> It's Boxing Day today, so I think that also helps because the sales are on. So I've got this top first. I don't know if you can see, it's got like ruching on the arms. And it goes into like a v-neck with like a strap across the back. And this was 15.99, well, 15 euro 99. So that was that. I thought that would be cute, tucked into like jeans with a little belt. Um, and then I got this for in the daytime because I don't seem to have enough day clothes for some reason. I don't think I really planned very well. So it's just like this little mini dress and it's got like a v-neck and like what I imagine something that you see on Mum and Mia, the film. Like really Greek style dress which I think is so cute. So I got that. That was, what was that? 19.99 so yeah and then the last thing I bought I saw a girl wearing this on Instagram ages ago and I could never find it on the internet um, and I walked in the shop and the first thing I saw was this dress I was like oh my god it's fate <laughs> so um, it's going to be hard to show you on camera it's like um, netted across the top section and then it's got quite long arms and then it's like ruched material at the, at the bottom but it's just like a really cute floral pattern this is actually a small and I'm definitely not a small in Zara normally but for some reason I think just because it's flowy it fit me lovely so yeah I'll, sh I'll take a picture of this when I wear it I'm probably going to wear it towards the end of the holiday um, but that was 29.99. that was reduced from £49.95 so I love it so that was it so really all together I have saved I wonder if like I say this was meant to be £49.95 and I got it for 30 the blue and white dress was meant to be £29.95 and I got it for 20 so that's like a fiver saving and then this white top was meant to be £22.95 and I got it for £16 so well £16 euro. I keep forgetting I keep saying pound it's not pound it's a euro we're in Tenerife <laughs> yeah so how much am I saving on that mm, I don't know I'm not good at maths I'm not sure but it's a good saving anyway <laughs> so yeah chuffed so we only did a little bit of shopping but we're definitely gonna go back to the shops and do a really good shop I think Tom wants to get some loafers um, put them back in there and I'm going to go sunbathing now Surfers at Tenerife, that's been mother wiving. Um, we're gonna go for a curry tonight. We're gonna walk to Los Cristianes, which is really lovely. Um, and we're gonna have a curry at a place called the Fountain. So that it's like a little square, and there's loads of bars, and there's a really nice curry house there. I'll just send it with tikka masala because that's all I ever eat from the curry. So I'm wearing my top that I got from Zara. If you can see that. Um, 
can see the little sleeves it's so cute I love it um, just with some jeans and then my white sandals again I feel like I've lived in these white sandals I've literally got about five pairs that I've bought with me and I've lived in the same ones uh -oh. it's been really cloudy today and then Tom has just pointed out this black cloud do you think it's going to rain? Uh oh. And we're gonna walk as well. Yeah, we were thinking of going. Um, I don't know if you've heard about it. It's called Siam Park. Yeah. Everyone's heard of Siam Park in Tenerife. It's like one of the best water parks in like Europe, basically. Is Spain Europe? Yes. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> so yeah, in Europe. So yeah, oh my god, that cloud. Ooh. Morning. Um, last night we went to the Indian. Um, and we had such a laugh in there. We had obviously a curry. And then Tom's dad started singing and he was getting everybody to join in. So I've got a few clips of that which I will add in now. <laughs> We went to a little bar called The Hole in the Wall, which is obviously an Irish bar. Um, but while we was in there, there was um, Daniel O'Donnell. No. Yeah, Daniel O'Donnell. He was in there. Um, I think he's in there quite a lot. Um, as well as a man called Fergal, who sings and plays his guitar. He's like the main entertainment for the night. And then a lad called... Nathan, I can't think of his last name, he's a young lad from Ireland and he's meant to be really popular in Ireland, he's a singer, so he was there as well, he did a bit of singing. <laughs> Tonight we're going to Bianco's, which is a really nice Italian. I'll try and film that because it's so pretty. It's opposite the Hard Rock Cafe, um, on like the strip in Tenerife, in Las Americas. And it, um, it overlooks all the fountains and the Hard Rock Cafe. It's really pretty. And I know that a lot of, well, a lot of the, te I was going to say famous people, not many people are calling famous, I love Terry, but they all go there when they come to Tenerife for the film. Um, I know a few celebs have gone in there, so it's a really popular restaurant, it's so pretty, it's lovely, and I love an Italian. I love a spag ball, I love a pizza, <laughs> so I'm going to be made in there. So yeah, we get to dress up tonight and take some nice pictures with the family, and so yeah. I've been shopping again. So I went to Stravid Stravidivarius. I'm guessing that's Tenerife Spanish language. <laughs> um and I went first to Bershka and I saw some trousers with like a a white line on the sides, if that makes sense. And I loved them, but the material seemed really rubbish, and there was 20 euro, and I tried them on, and I loved them, I was so close to buying them, and I was like, oh no, something was telling me in the end not to do it. Then I walked into Stravadas, and look what I found. 
exactly the same thing but a little bit better material and they was cheaper these were only 17 euro 95 so i'll pick these up love them and then i also there's like a range of jumpers in there that have got like embellishments on which is so cute so i'm not sure what that quote actually means um yeah and it's got like a really cute embellishment on the little detail and it reminds me of all this like the gucci style that's going on at the minute like on miss pap and i think it's like pretty little thing misguided they've got this like blue and white stripes or green and red i think they are stripes so i love this and i've actually got a website which says on this bag so this jumper was 20 euro 19.99 which i thought was really good the material's really nice i'm definitely not spending any more now i can't i've spent way too much i never buy in tenerife normally like it's not really a place i find clothes but they've opened loads of new shops and i'm loving it now so yeah also i forgot to mention on our way here ignore the wardrobe <laughs> I went into accessories in Birmingham Airport and I found this little, it's like a caftan I guess and it's got like coral and blue detailing or maybe green, I'm not sure what you call that, like a tealy green and it's like a wing cape effect at the top and then it just goes into like a little dress room by the pool or the beach and I love these little coral tassels as well on it. So I picked that up as well, that was £35. So yeah, I literally can't spend any more money because my mum and dad are going to kill me because I've got no space in my wardrobe. So yeah, I need to control myself. <laughs> get ready with me doing my makeup on holiday because um, I don't know about you but I really struggle with knowing what to wear on a night time on my skin because you've been in the sun all day you don't really want to overload it but um, I'm just going to go through what I do with night time on holiday so yes just wiped under my eyes with my makeup wipes and this is my makeup bag and I love it, it's from Peaches and Creams, I had it for Christmas and it literally, it's so big, it fits everything in and I've brought a lot of makeup with me so that shows so I'm going to start by prepping my skin it's so big I can't even see in it <laughs> so this is a really really mini one but this is the Mastro Cream this is like one of the testers that you get when you order so much online I'm just going to put that all over my skin. So if you didn't know, strong cream is like an illuminating base. Um, so when I'm putting my foundation and stuff on it, it doesn't make my skin look matte, it makes it glowy. So that's really nice for on holiday. By the way, I am wearing like a robe wrap thing from Primark. But I thought I'd wear this so that you could see the colour of my chest to my face and if you can see all here I don't know if you get it but I've got like a white patch where obviously when you're lying in the sun it's not catching that little bit of your neck so I'll show you how I sort of blend that down as well after so then I'm just going to spritz my skin with the MAC Fix Plus I'm just going to dry all of that out and then I'm going to apply some of the iconic London um, illuminator drops this is in the shade original because they do do a few different shades in this but this is just the original shade and I'm just going to put this where I would normally highlight so I'm just on my cheekbones and the tip of my nose and on my cupid's bow so a little bit goes a long way with this product as you can see it's literally a lot so I don't rub it completely in but I just sort of blend it all out a little bit 
and then I'm gonna go in with my foundation. So, as I said earlier, I have been struggling with the colour of my foundation, but I'll show you what I was using at the start of the holiday and what I'm using like four or five days in. So at the start of the holiday, I was using the BB cream in matte in the light shade from Rimmel. I'll show you what this There we go. So I was using that to begin with, and then I have moved on to the same one, but in medium. And I thought this would be dark enough for this holiday, because I, I knew it was obviously not going to be as hot as it is in the summer. But for some reason I seem to be catching the sun really well. I think that's because I went on the sunbeds before holiday. So I've moved on to this and I still find it's quite light, but you will see as I'm applying it. But I tend to just use a BB cream on holiday because you don't want to overdo the overload your skin while you're away. Um because you do have to use a lot of oil and a lot of lotion in the day. You don't want to then be applying like really thick foundation for the night time. This is the Real Techniques, well, what's it called now? Oh, Mini Expert Face Brush. So I don't know if you can see, but it is quite light for my skin now, I've got more of a tan. So I completely misjudged the colouring. I'm then going to blend it with the, my Beauty Blender. I'm going to spritz it with some MAC Fix Plus. And I'm just going to bounce that all around my skin. In this lighting on the camera, it does look like it matches obviously except for my white patch. <laughs> but as soon as I then go in with my concealer, which is in the light shade, that throws me off completely because I am highlighting, which I want to do with my concealer, but it's just a little bit too light. So where that illuminator was, the illuminating drops, I've just blended that into the um, foundation. Collection 2000 Long Lasting Concealer. There we go. Again, this is in the shade light I could do with the medium, but we're just going to have to work with it. Which is what you do on holiday, you always forget something or the sort of thing you probably could have packed. So I'm just putting it just around my mouth. Just a little bit here, because I'm burnt yesterday, so it seems to be a little bit red. So just for some extra coverage, and then just a little bit under my eyes. Then I'm gonna get my beauty blender, and blend it out. My Laura Mercier translucent powder with my Real Technique setting brush. And I'm just going to set under my eyes. I'll tell you what I need to do. I'm going to get my Carly Bible palette because this has got a really good mirror on it. And then I can see a little bit better then. So using this brush I'm just setting everywhere that tends to go quite oily first on holiday which is sort of your T-zone, just under your eyes and then sort of all your smile lines. And then I'm going to get a bigger NYX powder brush and I'm just going to just set everywhere else. I'm trying to decide what eye palette to take with you on a holiday, that is so hard. Just because you want something that's got a good mirror like this one, it's quite big, and you want something that's got like a good choice of colour. So I definitely recommend the Carly Bible palette, which I think is 
This is the 21 colour shadow palette because she has got another one which has got less colours in but this has definitely got a better range. And like I said, it's a good mirror and it's quite, when it's all closed up, it's quite thin. I know it's quite wide but at least it doesn't take up a lot of, lot of weight. So, it's a good little tip. Okay, so I'm just going to use the Peaches and Cream Sculpting Powder and I'm just going to put that everywhere I would normally contour, so just around my hairline first and then just fill out cheekbones. I'm just going to sharpen that contour up because I've been really messy at the minute. I'm just going to get my beauty blender. Yeah. And then I'm going to get the Peaches and Creams bronzer. And then I'm just going to go all over my face. Where you can sort of balance out that really light concealer. There we go. So next, I'm going to highlight. So I'm going to use Mac Soft and Gentle. I'm just going to put that on my brow bone. This is the Real Techniques highlighting brush. In my tear duct. Bridge, and then just straight across my cheekbone. Straight over the top of where we put the illuminator drops. It's a bit mad in this lighting, but it's not in real life. <laughs> and after that, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of blush. This is the new product that I found just before I come on holiday. It's the NYX Baked Blush. This is in the shade Spanish Rose. I don't like anything too intense, but just something nice that's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. Okay, I'm also going to do a tiny little bit of eyeshadow while I'm here. So again, we're using the Kylie Bible palette. And I'm first going to use my Peaches and Creams PC06 brush and this I'm going to use the very first shade as my transition colour and I'm just going to pop that into my crease. And then I'm going to go in with the same brush with the slightly darker shade which is the third one in. And just go just slightly lower. Darken up my crease and underneath the lash line. And then I'm just going to add a little bit to the outer corner. I'm just going to get a clean Real Techniques blender and just give off over the top around the edges and then using I think the second shade in which is a shimmer it's like a peachy gold shade so I'm just going to take that on my eyelid I'm going to blow a cut crease but I'm literally just using my finger because I think it gives a better colour payoff. So I'm just going to go back in with the second shade that we went in 
use, which is the third shading on the Carly Bible palette. And I'm just going to go back into the crease. And then just to add a little bit more shimmer on the lid, I'm going to take the highlight, the gold highlight shade, which is one of the biggest highlights in the palette, and just pack that over the top of the lid as well. Head quick, dead easy. You need two brushes for this makeup look, so what more can you ask for? <laughs> So next I'm going to do my brows I think, so right, so I'm going to use the shade Talk in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and I'm going to get my really small brow um, and I'm just going to get a little bit of that on like an angle brush and just get some of the product off in the back of my hand and I'm just going to follow my brow shade. These are just Primark Lash Curler. So, mascara, I'm using my old Faithful, which is the one by one Volume Express mascara from Maybelline, which you can't get in the shops anymore. You have to order this on Amazon, which is a little bit annoying, but if you find a mascara you love, you've got to stick with it. So, lip product so I'm gonna use a new well it's not new to me anymore but I haven't used it on my channel and um, there's a girl there's a girl on Instagram called Alexandra Nicole I think she just does beauty but she's also released her own makeup line I think there's lashes lip products and I'm not sure what else she actually bought it but I picked up one of her liners and liquid lip glosses I did pick up the liquid lipstick but for holiday I prefer a bit of a gloss so this is all I bought with me so I got the liner in the shade LN1 and then the lip gloss in N1 so they are the matching shades to each other Packaging's really nice to be fair. I'm guessing this is her first line of makeup, so she's done really well, fair play. Um, so I'm just going to line my lips with this. And then I'm going to go in with the liquid lip gloss. And then I'm just going to switch my skin with the Fix Plus again, just to set everything in place. Actually, I might add a little bit more contour now my eyes and everything are done. I don't know if you ever find that you do all your makeup and then you come to set it and you think actually I can go a little bit more with the contour. So, just adding a little bit extra on the cheekbones. So I do love a strong contour. So I'm just going to spritz everything. Okay, so makeup and hair's done. Just 
thought I'd show you in like the natural light that the colours actually do match. <laughs> Um, and you can see a little bit better on my eyes. So I'm in my dress now. I'm in my Zara dress. This is what I got the other day. Come out here so you can see in the light. Where did I look the best? Yeah, it's a good picture of that. So I'm looking at the camera. As he knocked the up the top. See ya. Smile. <laughs> I don't think the weather looks too bad. Yeah, it's wrong. And I we just watched everything that we just did. <laughs> See you. Bye bye. Hello, so it is now about half six the following day. I haven't vlogged all day today because we didn't really do a lot and I thought you're going to get bored, keep watching us chill basically. So I thought I'd leave it today. Um, tonight we are going, it's basically um, Cal, Daz and Ellie's last night tonight. So I think we're going to go for food with them. There's a football match on before though so... The lads want to go and watch that, so we're going to do that. Tom's saying it's Chelsea versus Arsenal. I've gone for no makeup today, but I've had, I have actually put on some of the iconic London drops just here and here to highlight. And my new, new skin pink tingle lip plumping balm, just on my lips, just to add a little bit of something. Um, but yeah, it's just very casual tonight. Just wearing a top, jeans, some sliders. So yeah, very, very casual. No makeup, makeup look. If that's a thing, I don't know. I don't know what the plan is for tomorrow. I think that's what's really nice so on holiday, getting up, waking up when you want to, not having like set things to do every day. You can just wake up, do what you want to do. Because when you're at home, for me any, anyway, everything's really scheduled and I've always got to be at appointments for people. So it's nice just to relax and do what we want to do. So I will see you in the morning. So we are going out tonight for Mexican, me and Tom. Just us two, so that would be really lovely. This is my outfit. Beautiful. Ready for Mexico? Yeah. High five. Hey. <laughs>
morning. Got a bad throat. Tom's poorly. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give it me. <laughs> so we're gonna go for breakfast. Um, we're gonna walk down the beachfront to find somewhere to eat. I think we're gonna go players. It's a little bar called Players. Um, I've got my little caftan on that I bought from. Where did I get from? Accessories. Uh, in the airport, I'll show you. Here. It's a bit longer than I thought, but it's really flowy and pretty. Mm, I'll show you how sunny it is this morning. It's really pretty. What a nice view to wake up to. Now makeup on again because I think we're literally just gonna go to the Chinese and then come back. Um, just wearing like a maxi dress tonight. Dead floating casual. Um, but yeah, I don't want to go out. Really don't. I think it's because I know I'm really busy with work when I get back and. It's back into routine and setting alarms every morning, which ain't a bad thing. Gets you into a routine, but I can't wait to get back into like exercising and eating well as well. I mean, I love the fact that we come away in January because obviously it's cold at home, but literally it's been Christmas, so we've been eating loads of rubbish and indulging and you know, enjoying ourselves with drink and stuff. And then we've come on holiday and we've done the exact same thing for eight days, so. We're going to get back into the exercise, aren't we, Tom? Yeah. Maybe so, can we start playing football? So, we're on our very last morning today. <coughs> we go home and fly at 12. Um, so, we're all packed up. Nearly couldn't shut my suitcase. <laughs> mm. The seat's oh. broke. Um, we're just going to have some breakfast quickly <coughs> and then we're going to leave for the airport, we'll get a taxi. So, really sad. Let's have one last look at our view from our apartment. So it's about quarter past eight this morning. So the sun's just coming out. So we're going to end the vlog here for Tenerife 2018. <laughs> if you enjoyed the vlog, please thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, thumbs up guys. And we will see you in the next video.